Hi guys, today we're going to create a Jemima Puddle Duck cake in pink and gold. I've pre-covered a 7 inch cake in a pale pink colour. I have tutorials on how to ganache a cake, cover a cake and also cover the board like we're doing here and I'll leave the links in the iCard above. The colour for the board is a pale lime green colour. Here I've got a plaque cutter. If you don't have one you can just make a template and cut it out with a scalpel. I've just traced the name to the right size of the cutter. You want to roll out some white paste with Tylo added and trace the name onto it with a Dresden tool. In a pot I've got some gold luster and I'm going to add lemon extract slowly with the dropper bottle. I've got these in my shop and I'll leave the link below. It's been a lifesaver. It allows you to add a few drops at a time so you don't make it too runny. With a fine paintbrush paint over the impression. Then lay your cutter over the paste and cut it out. Add in some wood grain lines with the Dresden tool. Here I've got a wood grain texture mat by FMM. They come with ridges on the outer ends but they work better when you cut them off. I've got some more white paste with Tylo in and you just want to press the mat to transfer the design onto the paste. Then cut out strips for your fence panels and cut them in varying heights for more of a rickety fence look. Then you want to cut some thinner pieces to use as the supports. Add the plaque to your cake, position it slightly higher than halfway up to accommodate the fence below it. Then start adding some short fence pieces along the front and the taller ones around the sides and the back. With the thinner strip, cut them down to fit in between the panels. You can add them in at angles to make it more rustic. To make a slightly darker pink, I just used some of the leftover pale pink mixed with a ball of hot pink. 90% of the time, this is how I colour my sugar paste. I very rarely use gels. It's now a slightly darker shade for the flowers. Start off by rolling a cone shape and using a ball tool, hollow out the fat end. It's probably easier with an actual cone tool, but I don't have one. Stick the cone near the bottom of the cake and repeat with more cones, clustering them in twos or threes before moving up. As you move upwards, make the cones gradually smaller. As you get to the tiny cones, you can use a smaller ball tool. Keep going until your flowers are at the desired height. Add more clusters around the sides and the back. Back to more white paste with Tylo added. Trace around your chosen number and cut it out with the scalpel. Add a little icing sugar if it gets sticky. Roll out some more paste and paint an area large enough to hold the number in gold luster. Lay your number on top and cut around it to leave a frame. Add it to the foam mat to dry a little. For the basket, add some Tylo powder to a pale brown paste and roll it flat on the mat between your hands to taper it into a shallow plant pot shape. Add some vertical lines with the Dresden tool and then some horizontal ones. To make the handle and trim, roll out a long thin sausage, fold it in half and then twist the paste in opposite directions to create a rope effect. Add this around the edge of the basket and keep the cut off for the handle. To support the paste while it dries, take a piece of kitchen roll and roll it up. 
place it in the centre of the basket and lay the rope over the top securing the ends to the base with water. Set that aside to dry and work on some blossoms. Roll out more white and using a blossom plunger cut out several flowers. To widen the petals and cup them, give them a little smush with a ball tool. To make a tiny lettuce, roll out a strip of green paste and use the ball tool to thin one edge out. Start rolling the paste up into a spiral until it's the size that you want it. Using a Dresden tool, pull and drag some of the paste so it looks more ruffled and torn. Trim the excess paste off so the lettuce is actually quite shallow, we don't want it to stick out too far from the cake. For the carrots, these are little tapered sausages of orange paste and you can score in lines with either a scalpel or a Dresden tool. Add the carrot to the wooden plaque for a bit of detail and the lettuce in the top left. For the carrot leaves, roll out some green in your hand and use the Dresden tool to score in some lines. Roll the base to a point and add it to the top of the carrots with water. You can also add one of your white blossoms here too. For some detail for the board and also for adding the leaves to your flowers, roll out spikes of green and bunch them together and trim the bottoms flat. Add the white flowers to the board. Once your number has firmed up, carefully flip it over and add a kebab skewer to the back with water. Cover and encase the stick with a rectangle of paste. Once your basket has dried, carefully remove the support. Now we need to fill it with rabbit loot. Start rolling those carrots and cover the inside of the basket. Poke some holes into the tops of the carrots to make it easier to attach the leaves. Now that your number has set, paint the remaining cut edges gold and attach it to the top of the cake just off centre. For Jemima, you'll need a ball of white with Tylo added. Start teasing it into a soft spike and then pinch around the middle. Pull the largest end out into a tail shape. Then thin the neck out between your fingers until it's long enough and snip off the excess. Add the body to the top of the cake and insert a skewer down to secure it, leaving some poking up for the head. Using a Dresden tool, define the bend in the neck and add a little channel at the base for the legs to sit in. Using some pale yellow paste, squash out a foot and mark in lines for the foot bones. Then, with the fatter end of the tool, flatten the area between the bones for the webbed toes. Cut the thinned area down into humps. Pinch the paste in at the top of the foot for a leg and trim it to size. Add the leg to the channel that you made on the body. Once her feet are on, roll a rectangle of pink paste for her scarf. Wrap the paste over her body and pull it to meet at the front.
For the front knot, roll two small pink spike shapes and attach with water. Finish the knot with a ball in the centre. Add in some gather lines with the Dresden tool. For her head, roll a ball of white and flatten part of it in preparation for her beak. Her beak starts as a pale yellow spike which you attach to the flattened area. Squash the beak slightly and pull it up the face. Mark in a smile with the Dresden tool. Don't forget the little nostrils too. Add the head to the neck and angle it just how you want it. Push in slight dents for eye sockets. Then deepen the sockets further with a ball tool and add in lines with the dressing tool. Roll small balls of black paste and insert these into the holes. Don't forget those all important catch lights too. For her bonnet, cut out a circle of baby blue paste and wrap it around the back of her head. The bottom of the circle will hang down slightly so you can deepen the join and turn it up for the collar of the bonnet. Roll out tiny strings of paste and join the bonnet under the chin. Create a tiny loop and another one next to it for a bow. Trim this down and add it under the chin. Roll balls of pale yellow paste and add them to the flower centres. For detail on the scarf, paint on blue patches with blue gel colour mixed with white dust. Add in detail with pale pink and hot pink too, such as dots and lines. Add depth to the wood grain with watered down grey paint. Add the basket to the top and finish off with clumps of grass and flowers. All done, a Jemima Puddle Duck is the main star for once. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to keep up to date with new ones, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks guys, see you soon.